CataractCoach.com, a cataract quiz. Why did this IOL cause issues? It seemed like a routine case. Look carefully. Now, this patient has UGH syndrome, uveitis, glaucoma, hyphema, a lot of problems, iris translumination defects, but why? The patient had cataract surgery, and everyone thought it was just a routine cataract surgery. It looked great. The operating surgeon said everything went normally. And the lens is a little decentered. Why is the lens decentered here? Come on, you know this. So let's do a little dissection here, get a needle under the rex's edge to separate it. Well, look at the bottom of your screen there. You got one haptic outside the capsular bag. This is a case where one haptic's in the bag, one haptic's outside the bag. That's the problem. So the bottom of your screen, which is the patient's superior, you've got a haptic that's out of the bag, in the sulcus, scraping the iris causing the UGA syndrome. So you can try to visco-dissect it out, free it up. Look at that. There's certainly a haptic in the sulcus. you got to get a position. Now, hopefully, you can open up the capsular bag enough and get this same lens positioned in the capsular bag. Get that second haptic in. So the top of your screen, there's the inferior haptic, and it's definitely in the bag. It was the other haptic, the superior one that was dissected out, that was outside the bag. So what will you do here? Now, there's a good reason we tell you, never place a single piece of acrylic lens in the sulcus because you'll get these issues because the haptics are so thick and they scrape the back of the iris. They're not appropriate for the sulcus. You want to use a three-piece lens for that. But you can also have the same problems if you have one haptic in the bag and one in the sulcus. Now, here the surgeon's doing a full dissection. I'm watching the video for the first time with you, so we're going to check it out together. Now, are we just going to leave the lens in the bag now? There it is. Now, he looks like it. I like the use of that Sinsky hook to kind of dial things around. Um, oh, you're making a big incision here, so maybe you're going to ex explant the lens. What do you think? Yeah, that's a pretty big incision there. That's probably a three-millimeter incision. Mm, bringing the lens up now. Now, I'm not sure why you'd want to explant it. If you can really open up the bag, you, you may be just fine getting this lens completely back in the capsule bag. Getting that outside habit, the one that was in the sulcus, get it in the bag, you should be okay. But here, it looks like the surgeon's going to explant the lens. So now the whole IOL is on top of the iris, and a large incision has been made. All right, more viscoelastic going in to protect the endothelium, going above the optic here. And now, what are we going to do? Twist it out? It comes uh, forceps to grab it. Okay, maybe not. Is that a scissors in the right hand? Okay, so you're going to cut the lens. You know, you could do the twist and out technique. We show it here on cataractcoach.com. It makes it much easier. You don't have to do all this, but okay. Now, lens is bisected, going to be removed from the eye. There you go. There's one half. Here comes the other half. So what would you do instead here? Are you going to put a three-piece lens in? If you did do that, I'd like, in this case, a three-piece lens. I'd choose a silicone lens with a nice smooth surface and uh, not too sharp of an edge there. And a three-piece version, you get that in the capsule bag, hopefully. Again, removing that uh, first acrylic lens. Now what? Okay, let's see. Let's see what the surgeon's going to do here. So it looks like a little more viscoelastic, kind of opening things up, giving yourself some space. And here comes a new lens. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it looks like a three-piece lens. There it is. 7L rule. We know that leading half looks like a number seven. And then there comes the optic. And yeah, I you know what? Putting on top of the hours, I like that idea. Then you can dial it into whatever you want afterwards. That's okay. So lens in good orientation. There's a 7L rule, and that looks good. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to place it. Would you place habits in the sulcus and optic captured? Honestly, I'd rather have the entire thing in the bag. But let's see what's going to happen here. Uh, dialing it around. And did you think that was sulcus? What do you guys think? Is that sulcus placement? Mm, not quite sure. Leave a comment below, and while you're there, check out the Cataract Coach Podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology, for a reason. We teach you how to be a more successful surgeon anywhere where you find a podcast. Apple, Amazon, Google, Spotify, whatever, you will find the Cataract Coach Podcast, and it will make you a better surgeon. You will thank me later. Now, okay, I wish we could get a little bit better view here. So now we've got a lens. I'm guessing that's in the sulcus, but not my favorite. Leave a comment below. What do you think happened in this case? Where do you think the lens is? I think the patient is going to be much happier now. You're going to have a lot of resolution of those symptoms. Look actually at the iris there. Look how you've got it depigmented on that superior part, which is the, the inferior part of your screen. 
That's where that lens was having the haptic in the sulcus, the first lens, the single piece lens. Wow. Interesting case. Comment below and check out that amazing podcast.